But even with all the things to read, occasionally we head over to CNN's website. CNN, despite the fact it's become completely ideological and dishonest, is still regarded by many public schools, for example, as a trusted news source. So people read CNN's website. We want to see what they're publishing. So we ran into this piece. This is from one of its breaking news and politics reporters called Devin Cole. Cole was writing about South Dakota's legislation on transgender athletes. Cole wrote this line and amazingly CNN published it. We're quoting this directly from the CNN website. Here it is. It's not possible to know a person's gender identity at birth. And there is no consensus criteria for assigning sex at birth. Meaning that for literally hundreds of thousands of years, human beings have been reproducing in caves, huts, hospitals. This little squealing human comes out butt naked and no one has been able to determine whether this kid was a boy or a girl. No one has known because there's just no way to know because biology is not real, totally fake. Is there some way to tell if you were to have a baby, if you were to take time from your vacationing and your internet use and your weed smoke, if you actually decided to perpetuate the species and you had a child, how would you know if that child was a boy or a girl? Well, obviously we don't know. We only had four of them. But we thought that possibly Louisiana Senator John Kennedy, one of the most erudite men in the U.S. Senate, might have some sense of how to designate biological sex at birth. Senator, I appreciate your coming on for this departure from your normal political agenda to give us a biology lesson. How do you know if it's a boy or a girl? I can't believe we're discussing this, Tucker. Um, look, the, the, <laughs> person, the, the person who wrote that is entitled to his opinion, but uh, in my opinion, I think he's been in lockdown too long. Uh, look, s sex is, is the language we use to describe reproduction. In humans, there are only two sexes, male and female. Males have the potential to produce sperm. Females have the potential to produce ova. Uh, th these are, are observable physical characteristics. Sex is not a spectrum. It's bin binary. You're either male or female. Now, I right. do believe that gender dysphoria exists. It's of rare. Course. Maybe one in 30,000 males, one in 100,000 females. Gender dysphoria is not an observable physical characteristic. It's an internal feeling. It's an internal feeling that uh, a, a person of one sex has when he internally identifies with another sex. Right. I think most Americans believe it's wrong to discriminate against someone because of an immutable characteristic like sex or race. But that's not what the Equality Act is about. The Equality Act is about power and government. It's about to what extent do the, are the American people willing to give government the bureaucracy, the managerial elite, the authority to regulate every aspect of our lives, uh, education, religion, public accommodation, speech, in order to elevate the status of those who either have or claim to have gender dysphoria. For example, uh, to what extent are Americans willing to give government the authority to require schools to make teenage girls in a junior high locker room shower and change clothes with a biological boy who either has or claims to have gender dysphoria. Uh, to what extent are Americans willing to give government the authority to require all women's sports programs to make women compete with much stronger biological males who identify or claim to identify with females? And that's what this debate is about. But it's not about, are there more than two sexes? Um, I think that's pretty clearly s well, settled. That is the calmest and clearest explanation. And, and I would say also a very reasonable and moderate explanation, non-ideological explanation of reality I've heard in a while. Very quickly, Senator, they're trying to make us lie about observable reality, about science. How should individual Americans who have no power respond when told they must lie? I think they, sh they, should, uh, they, they, they should say no. Um, I think they ought to be very frank. I think they ought to ask their elected representatives when they talk this nonsense, 
uh, uh, how they made it through the birth canal. Um, yeah. I mean, it's very easy to tell a boy from a girl. A boy has a penis, a girl has a vagina. Those are, those are physical characteristics, and it's all about reproduction. Yep. Sex can be identified at the I'm DNA sure level. That's something you didn't, a... I'm sure that's something you didn't know, Tucker, but... Uh, I, I had to confront it several times in the delivery room. Um, I learned it, but it's nice to, to hear it mm -hmm. confirmed. Senator, thank you so much for coming on tonight and for your brave clarity. Thank you. Well, no.